Hey guys, I thought I'd make a behind the scenes and extra footage for stuff that didn't make it into the main video. I also tried spraying water on magnesium at night, but I don't know, it just didn't turn out as good as the original video, and on the high speed camera it was way too overexposed and I was filming in the wrong aspect ratio. Still pretty cool though. I also tried pouring molten magnesium into a fish tank, so I set it on fire, wait, waited for it to get white hot, and then dumped it in, but nothing really happened. I was really surprised. I thought there would be more of a reaction, but it just kind of sizzled and fell down to the bottom there. I tried again, but this time I used a lot more magnesium. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing the mask, it's because the magnesium from the car was painted and it smelled really, really bad because I had to burn the paint off first. That's why I was wearing the mask, but yeah, same thing. The magnesium didn't do anything crazy. It did float on top of the water though, which is really interesting. So normally, magnesium doesn't react with water because it has a thin coating of an oxide layer on its surface, just like aluminum. But when you melt it and you pour it into water, then the magnesium comes in direct contact with the water and it's kind of just like the sodium reaction where it takes, uh, it forms magnesium hydroxide and releases hydrogen gas which then ignites from the heat of the reaction. Yeah, it's funny, on the high speed, most of the small bits just bounce off the surface of the water. Oh really? You saw it? Yeah. You can tell from the popcorn shape of the metal, there was a lot of steam explosions going on, and that was all from the second pour. This was from the first pour, and that was that just fell down as one solid piece perfectly. So the next clip is from a compilation video I was going to do about the worst inventions to make ever, but I lost them all due to an unfortunate hard drive failure, and that was nichrome wire, and I sprayed some alcohol on there to make it catch on fire and be stupid and silly. And in this clip, I don't know if you noticed, but my cat accidentally did a backflip, but she's fine. When I was doing the outro to the video, something pretty crazy happened. A moth landed on my shirt and then went directly into the magnesium fire. It flew in there! It actually it actually did make a sizzling noise, but the camera didn't pick it up. What you actually heard was a drop of water hitting a hot stove. There it was. Oh, and you don't even want to know how many tries it took to get these cats to do what I wanted them to do in that mattress ad. You can see I sprinkled catnip all over the bed to try to get them to stay in place. Well, that's it for this video. See you guys next time.